right. Videos for chapter 10. All right, 10.76. Predict the shapes of NH2 minus. So we have N, H, H, five electrons here, six, seven, NH2 minus. Is that what I said? 1076, NH2 minus. So we have five, six, seven, eight electrons all together. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So predict the shape. Well, this is going to be bent because there's two regions of electron density and uh, there's two H's. So, or two, four. Four regions of electron density, two bonding regions. So that's going to give us a bent shape. 1076. Make sure we have this ready to check out our problems. 1076A, bent. Okay. Uh, 1076B, CO3 2 minus. C O O O minus minus. So this is what it looks like. Um, there are no more electrons here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. CO3, two minus. We have three regions of electron density. That means it's going to be um, all of them are going to be spread out as much as they can. These are going to be 120 degrees. So this is in one plane and it's trigonal. So it's trigonal planar. 1076 C. 76C, IF, IF3, I, F, 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 we have 1, 2, 3, 4 halogens, 7 times 4, 28 electrons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, 22, 22, 24, 5, 6, 3, 7, 28. So I have three regions of electron density, um, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five regions of electron density. Three of, two of them are lone pairs. And lone pairs are going to want to take up the um, space in the equatorial regions first. So here we have I, a lone pair, a lone pair, and then we have one fluorine up, one fluorine down, and one other fluorine in the other lone pair location. So this is going to be a T-shaped molecule. All right, uh, that was the third one, T-shaped, D. Br3 minus, Br3 minus, all right. Br, 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 and this has seven times three, 21 plus one, 22, 22 electrons so we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20. So we're going to need two more electrons, 21, 22 there. So therefore, we have three non-bonding regions, and those are all going to be equatorial. It's going to be axial. So this is going to be a linear molecule. Uh, 1076B, or D, 1076D is linear. 1076E, gallium hydride. G A H three G A H three gallium three hydrogens and gallium has how many electrons valence electrons three valence electrons hydrogen has one two three so we have a total of six valence electrons here one two three four five six therefore this is trigonal planar because they're all going to be uh, trying to get as far away as possible 120 degrees here. So that's trigonal plane. 1078, predict the shape, FCL2 plus. Right? FCL2 plus. FCL2 plus. 1078. Um, 7 times 3, 21, 21. Wait, wait, wait. FCL. No, wait, what am I looking at? 1078. FCL 2 plus. Didn't I just do 1 for 1078? Hold on just a second. Yeah, it's going to be here. 
No, it's not going to do that. It's not short. Yeah, it's a whole, whole semester. Right. Just the coming back is going to be kind of hard. Coming back during the summer? Yeah, like because oh. there's that five week break and then we're going to just jump back into it. Oh, right. Yeah, that might be a little bit difficult. Okay, so where do we leave off? 1078. 1078. And we have done. Well, FCL plus, FCL2 plus, FCL2 plus. So we have three halogens, that's 27 times 3, 21 electrons, but we lost one because we have a plus structure. All right, so the question is here, what's the central atom, FCL2? Well, I am not positive, but I would say that the chlorine is the central atom. And we have something like this. Okay, chlorine is <coughs> less electronegative. Um, that, but it might be that. Might be that just so we'll say that's the structure. 20 electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's probably what it is right there. And that would be a <coughs> bent molecule. Um, let's see, if we had chlorine in the middle, chlorine and fluorine on the outside, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It would still be a bent molecule. So, I'm just breaking the shape. And then the answer is bent. 1078A. 1078A. Oh, it says non-linear, which is the same as bent. Right? So, um, ASF5. ASF5. ASF1. Five. AS brings five electrons, one five fluorine, thirty-five electrons, there's forty electrons total in the charges. Verify that acetate brings five. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so then we have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eight, nine, twenty, 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 so then we have five groups. And where are those five groups going to be? Well, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and twenty-four. Okay. Right? So this shape here, right? So we have three equatorial and two axial. One up top and one coming out down below. So this is called trigonal, this is a triangular base, and there's two pyramids, so it's trigonal by pyramid, All right, so 1078B, <coughs> trigonal by trigonal, 1078C, ASF3, so, we have to get rid of that, then there would only be 7 times 3, 21, so 26 electrons altogether. Here we have 8 times 3, 24, 25, 26. So now this one is going to be um, AS. Lone pairs are going to take up one region of electron density, and the other three are going to be like that. So this is F here. So this is trigonal on the bottom, pyramidal. Right? Just one pyramid. So that is trigonal pyramid. It's ASF C, 1078 C, trigonal pyramid. SBH3, benzoin hydride. Done? Okay, let me finish up this one. Okay. So we have antimony bringing how many electrons? We have five. Antimony bringing five, six, seven, eight. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So again, this is going to be trigonal pyramidal. Right? Trigonal pyramidal. So that is 1078 
D, I have one more, is that okay? SEO2, SEO2, selenium uh, oxide. So let's have selenium is a, uh, oxygen as well. So that's six. Six times three, 18 electrons. SEO, O, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, so um, we're going to have to bring these. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This oxygen doesn't have enough electrons yet, so we're going to have to bring these electrons over here to form a double bond there. Make sure that's right. 6 times 3 is 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah. So we still have selenium here. But now, selenium has a formal charge of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, minus 5, plus 1, and this has a minus 1. So if we bring these electrons into there, now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we still have those two electrons up there. So those are 18 electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six. So nobody has any formal charges. So this is the structure. You see three regions of electron density. So this is going to be bent, or as they're going to call it, nonlinear, because uh, it's not exactly the angle here between these two is going to be 120 degrees, or a little more, a little less, uh, slightly less than. Alright, so that's 1078. Okay, problem 1080. This is the home edition of the video, so in background noise, you just have to avoid it. We have a serenader, though. He'll help us out. Okay, so we have IO4 minus number 1080A. I... Oh no, what happened to this? Here it must have come down. All right, I O four two three four one two three four six times four is twenty four. Twenty four electrons from oxygen, seven electrons from the iodine. That is thirty one I O four minus though, so it's thirty two electrons altogether plus one for the minus charge, so it's thirty two electrons altogether. Thirty two electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 3, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 31, 32. Just perfect, except that <coughs> here we have iodine, which brought 7 and only has 1, 2, 3, 4, so it has a plus 3, and all of these oxygens have a minus 1. So we're going to fix that by bringing electrons in from here electrons in from here and electrons in from here and what that will do is it will give us now one two three four five six seven uh, no formal charge on the iodine and a negative one up here on the oxygen so that is what it should look like and then the question is what's the shape of the molecule well there's four regions of electron density one two three four no lone pairs so that's going to be tetrahedral. So that's 1080A. 1080A, tetrahedral. Okay, 1080B. All right, so 1080B. Uh, let's see where we're at. IF4 minus. So we have I. One, two, three, four, five halogens, sometimes five, that's 35. And we have plus one electron, so there's a total of 36 electrons in this molecule. Each one of the fluorines is going to have a total of eight. That's eight times four is 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So 
we have four regions of electron density. These two, or we have, sorry, six regions of electron density, four bonds and two non-bonding. So every spot is going to be taken up. So the two um, non-bonding pairs are going to be as far away from them, so, each other as they can. So this is going to be a square planar molecule. All right. 1080C, terillium fluoride, terillium TeF6. So we have TeF1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Terillium, tellurium, where is it at? TE. It has six. It brings six. So we have seven times one, two, three, four, five, six. Six times seven is forty-two plus six. That's forty-eight electrons altogether. And there's no charge on this. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight times one, two, three, four, five, six. That's forty-eight. So that's the way it's going to be. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is. Um, uh, we have. It's going to have two, here's the central atom, the tellurium. We have two fluorines in axial positions, and then four in equatorial positions. All right, so this is going to be a uh, two pyramids with square bases. So we're going to call this um, square, so let's see. Oh, square bipyramidal, square bipyramidal, or octahedral. All right, what number was this? 1080 what? 1080C, 1080C, octahedral. All right, 1080D, silicon, the silicate ion, SiO4, 4 minus, SiO4, 4 minus. So we have silicon in the middle, four oxygens. Um, silicon brings six electrons, just like oxygen does. So that's four, five, six times five is, no, no, silicon brings four, sorry. Four, oxygen brings six. Six times four is 24 plus silicon, which is four, plus four more, because we have a four minus charge, so that's 28, 32. 32, 32 electrons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So there we have it. Um, each one of these has a minus charge on it. <coughs> Um, <coughs> silicon <coughs> is a second row atom, so we can't bring any of these in. So the resulting molecule is going to be tetrahedral. Uh, <coughs> 1080D. <coughs> tetrahedral. 1080E. I Cl2 minus. Two minus. So there's one, two, three halogens. Seven times three, 21. Wait, is that right? I Cl2 minus. 7 times 3, 21, oh, 20, not 2 minus, just 1. ICL2 minus. So 21 plus 1 electron is 22 electrons. 22, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Two more on the iodine. So now we have three regions of electron density. <coughs> Those are all going to be equatorial. So here's the iodine. Here's our three regions of electron density equatorial. And then we have our chlorine up and our chlorine down. So this is going to be a linear molecule. 
E. All right. Now we're on to 1082. Which of the following has the shape described by the figure below? Ten eighty two IO four minus iodine O O O O six times four twenty four plus seven thirty one plus one electron is thirty two. So we have thirty two electrons all together here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, two, twenty, two, four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two. So that is going to be uh, tetrahedral, right? Uh, <coughs> we would have to fix. So here we have a four plus three charge, so five, six, seven. You have to bring in three bonds, <coughs> but it would still be tetrahedral. All right, so that's not the one. ICL4 minus. The minus charge, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 times 5, 35, so we have 36 electrons with that extra negative. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so we have 8 times 4, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So that has 4 ligands, 1, 2, 3, 4 and two lone pairs of electrons, two sets of lone pairs. So that's not the one that's described by it. This shape here would be a square planar. SMCL4. So this is and let's see, this is an ionic compound, so it's not going to be It's not going to be um, have the shape below, but we can do the, the molecular shape of it. One, two, three, four for tin. Seven times four is 28. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. 32 electrons. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Eight times four is 32. All right, so they're all going to have like that, and that's going to be uh, tetrahedral. If that was molecular in nature, it'd be tetrahedral. BRF four plus. BRF four plus. The plus charge one, two, three, four, five. Seven times five is thirty-five plus. They're moving electrons, so it's 34 electrons all together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 8 around each of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 times 4 is 32, 33, 34. So that's the one we're looking for. Four ligands and a lone pair. So that's a seesaw shape, right? Or a distorted tetrahedron. All right, 1084. Ethine, more commonly called acetylene, is a gas used in welding. It has a Lewis structure. HCCH, the triple bonds, the 1082 here. Wait, that was 1083 too, so now we're on 1084. C, triple bond C, H. What would you expect HCC bond angle to be in the molecule? So the bond angle from here to here. We would expect that to be 180 degrees because <laughs> we would expect that to be 180 degrees because this is a linear molecule. All right? We know that because there's no little pairs around this carbon because all four electrons, it has all four electrons on both sides, right? So each carbon has 
a formal charge of zero. So this is the stable shape. 1086. Predict the bond angle for each of the following molecules. ClO2. Cl2O, sorry, Cl2O. So we have 7 times 2, 14. We have 20 electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So there's 20 electrons. And this has uh, 0, 0, and 0 formal charges. So we would expect the bond angles here to be 180 degrees. H2O, we've drawn this one a thousand times, so we'll take advantage of that fact. We said this bond angle here would be slightly less than 109.5. Slightly less than 109.5. And we'll look in here. I want 1086. What does it say? What number 1086B, right? 1086A was 109.5. What's that? Ten eighty six A C L O C L two O. Oh no 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 no! I told you wrong. Sorry. The last one we had was this oxygen. C L C L. This has four regions of electron density, so the bond angle here is going to be one hundred nine point five. Sorry about that. So that one's 109.5. Water is also 109.5. 1080. What are we at? 1086. C. SO2. SO2. 6 times 3, 18 electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 17, 18, 17, 18. So we need these electrons to come over here. And sulfur has one, two, three, four, five, so we're going to probably have another electron come on here like this. And now sulfur has one, two, three, four, five, six, no formal charge. But we see there's three electrons, so this would be a little less than 120 degrees. A little less because this takes up a little bit more space, right? <coughs> I3 minus, D, I3 minus. I, I, I. Um, 7 times 3, 21, 22 electrons. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So we have three pairs of lone pairs on iodine, and those are all going to take equatorial positions, so these eyes are going to be axial, and the result is going to be... Mom? The result is going to be... Uh, linear. This is going to be a linear molecule. All right. I three minus. Yeah. N H two minus. No, we have to have dinner first. N H two with a minus charge. So we have five, six, seven, eight electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is going to be one hundred and nine point five for N H two minus. All right, which one is that? 1086E. All right, 1088. Which of the following molecules would be expected to be polar? All right, so HBr, we can draw HBr. We know that the electron density on bromine is much higher than that on hydrogen. So, I mean the electronegativity, sorry. So we would expect bromine, that one, to be polar. 1089, no, 1090, sorry, this is like 10, 1088. 1088, uh, B, P-O-C-L-3. So P is probably the central atom because it's less, least electronegative. O 
C L C L C L. Phosphorus contain, er, uh, has brings five electrons. Five oxygen brings six. Chlorine brings seven times three, twenty-one. So twenty-six plus six, thirty-two. So we have thirty-two electrons all together here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 26 plus 6, 32. So we have 8 times 3 is 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. But these electrons are going to come down here to form a double bond there. So would we expect this to be polar? Yes, because um, the electron density is going to be pulled uh, to the oxygen away from the phosphorus and off of the chlorine.